everyone, welcome back to Jodis. After having a number of videos on hair problems, we've spoken about Nasya, Jetta Mousy, various hair packs, internal medicines, various external oils. Let us talk about another powerful herb in this video. We'll be talking about Bringraj. We'll be discussing what is Bringraj, where is it available, what are the uses, what are the side effects of Bringraj which is the right you know, way to take Bringraj, which is the right dosage and what are the various formulations Bringraj is available in and how each one of you can consume Bringraj and make the most out of it. What are the various precautions you need to keep in your mind while consuming Bringraj? Because we know Bringraj just as a single ingredient or a single herb that is useful for hair. We've seen it you know, behind the hair oils that Bringraj is present. That's all we know about Bringraj. In this video, we'll be discussing about the various useful benefits of Brain Match. To have complete information about this topic, make sure you watch this video till the end. So what is Bringraj? Bringraj is a creeping herb about 3 meters in height. The herb has white colored flowers with long stalk placed on short, flat and rounded stem. It is Katu Kashai Rasatmak. It is pungent and astringent in taste. It's Ruksha and Lagu in Gunas. It's dry and light in quality. It's Ushnavirya. It's hot in potency. Its main action is over Kesha, boosting hair growth. Varnya enhances the skin complexion. And third, it is Drushti Vardak. It helps in improving eyesight. Overall, it has great effects over hair, skin, teeth, eyes and liver. Bringraj, it is deepened. It helps in stimulating the digestive fire. It is Ruchi Varda. It acts as an appetizer. It is Netra Hitakar. It's good for eyes. It is Kesha Ranjak. It is good for hair. For various conditions like scalp itching, there is pruritus which is intense itching, urticaria, there is piles, asthma, chronic wounds, etc. Bringraj is extremely beneficial. The parts of Bringraj used for various treatment purposes are the leaves of Bringraj, the roots, the seed, the seed oil and the whole plant. It is available in various forms. One can use it in the form of powder, oil, syrup. There is tablet form, capsule form these days. Fresh juices of Bringraj are available. Also one can simply you know, take fresh juice of Bringraj and consume it in their day to day life. Bringraj is a preventive herb to stop aging and balance all the three doshas of the body. Its oil available as Maha Bringraj Tail or Bringraj Tail is useful for preventing hair loss, premature greying of hair and split ends. It helps in strengthening the roots, promotes hair growth and it's great for overall hair care. A simple paste of Bringraj leaves is effective in baldness. Extract of Bringraj is useful in boosting hair growth. Juice of Bringraj is used in dehydration. A black dye obtained from Bringraj is used in coloring the hair which is used in hair dyes. Also in the form of Nasya Bringraj tail can be used because Bringraj is Kesha Ranjak. If given through the nasal root directly reaches up to the brain and start its action. Nasya treatment helps in managing stress and Bringraj is the herb that provides nutrition nourishment to our hair. So both the things are covered up by Bringraj Tail Nasya. Liver is the main site of metabolism and this herb is used to improve the liver metabolism. All the actions, the benefits of Bringraj that we just discussed in this video is only due to its effect over the liver. It increases bile production, enhances digestion, reduces inflammation. The benefits of Nasya are so long that one video would be very very short to explain about this herb. For Pratimarsh type of Nasya, 2-2 two, two drops of Bringraj tail in both nostrils would be effective. If used in powder form, 3 grams in divided doses would be the right dosage. If used in fresh juice, 5-10 to 10 ml once or twice a day would be very very effective. This is like a rough idea about the dosage. But let me share a case study with all of you. Recently there was a patient and she was consuming Bringraj capsule 300 mg, 2 capsules thrice a day. Two capsules in the morning, afternoon and evening. Then after 7 or 8 days, she started experiencing a swelling over her feet. 
and she couldn't connect that it was because of Bringaraj capsule. She continued with the medications. Later on, by the third week, by the 21st or the 22nd day, she was having difficulty in walking because her feet were so swollen. She had a lot of pain. And then she consulted her nearest Ayurvedic doctor, and that's when she realized that Bringaraj capsule, 300 mg, two capsule thrice a day, was a very high dosage for her. Generally, one capsule twice a day is prescribed. So definitely, whenever you consume any kind of a supplement, medicine, always consult your nearest Ayurvedic doctor. For two reasons. First, it's always better to be safe now than sorry later. And secondly, you will get the best result if you consult an Ayurvedic doctor and then take the treatment from him or her. And this was all for today's video. If you have any doubts or questions, make sure you write them down in the comment section. We'll be very happy to help you out. Like, share, subscribe as always. Until next time, from Jodis and the team, take care and have a great day.